we start today, we're, we're somewhere right just down this shoreline. And we got to cross Lake Bemidji, just under three miles. And it's right over there where the uh, tower is, if you can see it. Okay, so just got out of Lake Bemidji and now I am in the back of the Mississippi River and headed toward Cass Lake where we will be camping for the night. Um, I'm playing catch up at this point. We've got somewhere around 25 miles to go. I can't remember if it's 24 or 26, but everyone left at 8 o'clock this morning and it's about one o'clock and I'm across the lake making a little bit of progress and hopefully I will get in before dark but such is the price for videos so yeah I will update you guys as we go I'm Sandy Bromachenko. And I'm Jeff Bromachenko. We open our home to complete strangers, let them wash clothes, yeah. eat food, drink beer. Take a break. Take a break. Relax. Relax. Yeah. Come yeah. enjoy. Yeah. If you need anything, let us know. We like it. We like it here. You will too. <laughs> <laughs> We are done with week one. Woo! Day Tell nine. me how it went. Oh, this week was amazing. Um, no day was the same. No day was easy. But every day at the end of the day felt really like I really accomplished something. It was amazing. What's the worst part of the river so far? Lake Winnie, hands down. Um, I was paddling my canoe, coming up with my survival, like, plan. <laughs> I was all awesome. that one. It's like, I better come up with a plan. This isn't gonna be good. We did put our life jackets on, though. We did. <laughs> so, we were extra safe. Tell me about the best part of week one. Oh, the best part of week one was just being out in nature. It was not too bad. Uh, there are a few buggy issues, but uh, <laughs> the river itself was beautiful. Saw lots of wildlife, eagles everywhere, mm -hmm. swimming deer. It was wonderful. What was the worst part? Definitely Lake Winnie. A headwind <laughs> and surfing those waves was not fun. It would have been fun if it was just for an hour or two. The eight hours of constant paddling, 21 miles, was probably one of the toughest things I've ever done. There's no, there's no point in trying to focus or even get the lighting right because the lens is kind of jacked still. So, so Michelle. <laughs> yes. Annie. How do you plan to conquer the deer fly issue? I'm gonna wear a deer fly necklace. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Deer fly? <laughs> okay. Anywho. Yeah. Deer fly necklace. And I'm also going to pin their little bodies to the side of the boat. And then we're going to tally them with little stickers. And we bought fly swatters. Da -da! Essential piece of equipment. Totally. 
<laughs> if you are going to paddle the Mississippi River, you need one of these from day one because it will save your life. And okay. kill lots of flies. And kill lots of flies. So, how did you enjoy Lake Winnie? Um, I hated Lake Winnie. I don't, I don't like Lake Winnie at all. When we first got there, it was nice and clear, and I thought it was going to be pretty easy in the morning. But it was not. It was like an ocean. It was, yeah, it was hard. It was 21 miles of pain <laughs> and fear of not tipping over. Alright, so my camera still kind of sucks because the lens is a little foggy and the audio is a little bit off, but I'm going to make whatever kind of video I can and hopefully it turns out pretty awesome. And we're heading to Grand Rapids. Done.